So if, if it goes two diamonds, two hearts, opener ends up, maybe after another bid and another relay, ends up uh, showing their exact shape. And they've shown their range either 16 to 19 or 20 to 23. And uh, normally, Responder just picks the final contract at that stage. Exceptionally, they can use Beta in the known Singleton suit. Um, and uh, then make the decision as to where to play. But there's no chance of any asking bids. Okay, so... If it goes two diamonds, two spades, this is showing a naught to four weak single suited hand. Um, and again, uh, even if uh, Opener uses Oliver's twist to show 20 to 23, i.e., they bid um, their shortage in the expectation that that is actually where Responder's long suit is going to be. And probably nine times out of ten, they'll be right. And uh, Responder will just pass. Um, exceptionally, if uh, Opener doesn't hit their four-card suit with Oliver's Twist, then uh, we can end up playing a game. In fact, quite often do. Um, because in our experience, if we've got a 0-4 to hand and a 10-card fit opposite a 20-23 to hand, Usually we can make 10 tricks, so especially if it's a major, we would tend to uh, take our chances in game with the 10 card trump fit. Okay, so 2 diamonds, 2 hearts, and 2 diamonds, 2 spades. Essentially, um, beat is available over 2 diamonds, 2 hearts, uh, and there's no real provision for asking bids after 2 diamonds, 2 spades. So when can we use asking bids over a 2 diamond opening? Okay, so for anybody watching who, who wasn't at the original lesson, who, who may not be familiar with uh, the OCP two diamonds opening. Two diamonds, two no trumps, two diamonds, three clubs, two diamonds, three diamonds, and two diamonds, three hearts are all transfer bids. And they are all two-way transfer. They are either showing a naught to four hand, probably with a touching two suitor transferring into their cheapest uh, four card or longer suit um, but it must be a touching two suitor occasionally it can be used with a hand with at least four three or five three touching where you're transferring into your four card suit but you have got at least a three card holding in the next highest suit um, And, and no other four-card suit. That's the rule. <coughs> if you've got a non-touching 4-4, four, four, you must go two diamonds, two hearts, if you're not to four. Um, but if you've got a touching two suitor, you can just shortcut things uh, and just use the two-way transfer. Okay, the other kind of hand that you can have, if it's not a not to four touching two suitor, is a 14 plus hand with any two suited hand and it can be only 4-4 four, four, but it obviously can be a, a more extreme distribution than that okay so so the way this these two-way transfer works is that opener just completes the transfer if they have a four card holding in the transfer suit they just complete the transfer. If they don't, in other words, if the transfer is into their singleton suit, then they bid the next suit up over the transfer suit. So if you look at the second example there, two diamonds, three clubs, two-way transfer, three hearts, shows a singleton diamond. And that's why if you've got the naught to forehand, it must be a touching two suitor because basically you're forced to pass whatever opener bids over your transfer. If he completes the transfer, then you've got a four card fit there. If he bids the next suit up, then that's pretty much guaranteed to be the best fit that you can possibly get other than uh, the suit that you transferred into. 
Oh, hang on. Sorry. I missed a I missed this thing out. Okay, so as I've said there, uh, if responder has not to four, they always pass <coughs> whatever opener bids. Um, if if responders a maximum, and say they had a I don't know a six four two suited hand that's touching, and they transferred into their four card suit. And responder skipped that suit and bid the next suit up. So we now know that we've got a 10 card trump fit, and maybe it's a major. Then uh, responder is allowed to bid or invite game. Um, but they would have to have a fairly extreme distribution to make it worth it. You wouldn't do that with just a 4 4 3 2 hand and a 0 to 4. Uh, high card points, but with an extreme distribution, especially if um, you've transferred into the shorter of your two suits and openers skipped it and ended up bidding uh, your longer suit, so you've now got a nine or a ten card fit. Now it might be worth uh, inviting game or bidding game, but note that responder isn't allowed to do anything other than raise the suit. Normally they would just pass whatever opener bids. Uh, exceptionally they are allowed to um, to invite game or bid game but they're not allowed to bid anything else. The reason for that will become obvious in just a minute. Okay, so this is where the asking bids start to come in. Um, so if opener completes the transfer, they're promising a four card holding in the transfer suit. And this is now gamma in that suit. So that's asking responder about their holding in that suit, um, which they must hold because they, they transferred into it. Okay, the minimum length for this gamma is four cards. Um, so it's a slightly different than a normal gamma after a one club opener or uh, after one of a major and a forcing no trump and then a gamma uh, where the minimum is five cards. So here the four card minimum length um, and th the trick with this is that the scale of responses skips over any bids of the agreed trump suit below or at game level because responder with a 0 to 4 hand is allowed to raise whatever opener bids if they've got a particularly suitable hand um, and it feels worthwhile okay so um, I'll give you an example of, of how that works in just a minute. Okay, so if you imagine it goes two clubs, two diamonds, sorry, two diamonds, three clubs, three diamonds promising four card diamonds over the transfer, and now four diamonds. This isn't a gamma response. This is an invitational raise with probably three or four high card points. It's not part of the gamma scale. So the, the gamma scale is, and you just have to work it out each time as to um, how many steps you go. Effectively, it's using steps one, two, three, four, missing out step five, which is a raise of the suit, using step six seven eight nine skipping out a double raise of the suit which is also reserved for a responder making a raise with a naught to four hand and then 11 12 and so on so um, steps five and ten are the raises of diamonds in that instance
Just bear with me a minute. All right, so so here's how it works over that uh, that three diamonds gamma. That three hearts is just showing no top honor in the suit with any length. Three spades is showing four diamonds to one top honor. Three no chumps, four diamonds to two or three top honors. Four clubs, five card diamonds with one top honor. Missing out the four diamond bid because that's naught to four. And then the four heart bid is five card uh, diamonds with two top honors. Four spades, five card diamonds with th all three top honors. Four no trumps would be six card diamonds with one top honor. And so on and so on and so on. But note that we're always missing out in our responses bids in the diamond suit. Anybody got any questions so far about how Gamma works over the uh, two-way transfers when Opener bids the transfer suit? Okay, in that case, okay, so in the first set of, of, of sequences where Opener bids the transfer suit, that is a gamma ask if responder is 14 plus. Obviously, if they're naught to four, they're just going to pass it. <coughs> Exceptionally, they can raise it, but normally they'll pass it. Okay, if opener skips the transfer suit, showing a singleton in that suit, then that's not any kind of an asking bid. But now, responder then makes an eater ask in their second suit at the lowest level they can manage it. Okay, and it's eta rather than gamma because uh, opener is known to have 4441 distribution. And so any asking bid, Trump asking bid by responder is going to be eta. Whereas it's always gamma if it's opener doing the asking because uh, responder can be any length. Okay, as I've said there, if, if it turns out that Opener has unwittingly bid Responder's second suit in, in jumping over the transfer suit, then it would mean a raise of the suit for Responder to um, make a cheapest possible eater in that suit. And so what we do now is that the cheapest possible bid in no trumps is used as eta in the suit that opener actually bid. And I think I've got an example here. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I think I've... Oh, no, that's right. Okay, so two diamonds, three clubs, three hearts shows a singleton diamond. Now three spades uh, would be a 14 plus suitor, two suitor with spades and diamonds and would be eater and spades. Okay, so that's an easy example where we've got a cheap uh, or relatively cheap bid of... Um, 
Responder's second suit. And again, that's going to be Eater. Um, but again, similar sequence. Uh, two diamonds, three clubs, three hearts showing a sequence and diamond. So three spades there would be showing a spade diamond two suitor. But three no trumps is showing a 14 plus red two suitor with hearts and diamonds. And three no trumps is now eater in the in hearts, which is the suit that opener actually bid. And in both those kinds of situations, asking bids are fully established. So we've got relay beta available over the eater response and epsilons thereafter. Um, bearing in mind that epsilons, when we got a 4441, or rather particularly repeat epsilons, where we've got a 4441 hand described, um, are treated slightly differently. Okay, any questions so far? I think it's time for a few examples. If you just bear with me. Okay. So here we have a two way transfer by North who's got a 14 plus two suitor. Um, no particular reason to transfer into spades first and then bid the hearts with, with a touching two suitor. You would almost always transfer into the cheapest suit unless the, uh, the higher ranking suit was much longer. 5-4, it's not really worth it. Um, and I mean, if, if South has both majors, very often, actually, you'll make an extra trick if you play in the 4-4 fit rather than the 5-4 fit. Um, that will generally or often play for one extra trick. Okay, <coughs> so this, isn't, this is promising four card spades, obviously. Um, but actually, what it's showing is a singleton heart. It's not really about the spades. It's about the hearts, the three spade bit. Um, North may have a second suit in spades, but they may not. But basically, what it's saying is, please, can you... Uh, Um, please can you show your second suit so here now north is going to bid three no trumps which is eater in spades the suit that south actually bid okay and as you can see we've we've ended up saving nearly a whole round of bidding here by doing that we can't possibly be wanting to play in no trumps and so three no trumps would be a completely wasted bid if we didn't do that. But this is saving us a lot of space in this instance. So again, this is an eater ask. Um, eater is like a length known gamma. Um, so four clubs would be showing no top honor in uh, spades. Four diamonds is one top honor, four hearts, one top honor, and the jack. Uh, four spades, two top honors without the jack. And four no trumps is two top honors with the jack.
So, uh, those of you who are keeping an eye on the uh, on the discussion forum will know that this is uh, under consideration at the moment. Um, we are actually considering completely removing short beta um, from any sequences where we're in an asking bid sequence when a 4441 shape hand has been described. Um, removing short beta and it will always be relay beta. If the eta response happens to be uh, in the suit below the singleton, then it's entirely coincidental that relay beta happens to be in the known singleton suit. It's always relay beta. Um, that is slightly different than the situation that's published at the moment, which is where sh if short beta is available within two steps, then we use short, short beta rather than relay beta. If it's longer than two steps, then uh, we use relay beta instead. Here, there's no real issue. Um, five hearts would be quite an expensive short beta over four no trumps. So we just use five clubs as the relay. Again, we're using uh, the strong beta scale here because South is known to be 16 plus. Um, South has a fairly quacky hand. Um, five clubs as a relay beta. Five diamonds shows four controls exactly. Or oh, shows naught to four, but uh, uh, it's very unlikely that South would actually bother to open two diamonds rather than one diamond if they had less than four yeah. controls. If it was really that quacky a hand, um, okay. Um, so five diamonds. What else does North need to know? They know that South has got a singleton heart. Um, they know that they've got King Queen Jack X in spades. Um, the likelihood is that they have three controls between um, clubs and diamonds. But the main thing to establish from South's point of view is whether or not they have the King of Diamonds. Um, is that possible? No, not very easily. Uh, on the other hand, if they bid <laughs> five hearts here, Epsilon in the singleton suit, um, it can't be beta because South is known to have exactly um, actually, no, sorry, South is known to have 0 to 4 controls. So, actually, sorry, that couldn't be, that could actually be a relay beta, uh, another beta here. Um, just bear with me a second. So, what is North to do here? Um, really, any, any asking bid apart from five hearts. Um, Five hearts would get a uh, a response that would only that would allow them to safely gauge whether they want to be in six or not. Ideally, they want to ask in diamonds, but in practice, uh, they can only do that by bidding six diamonds, which commits them to slam anyway. Um, it's impossible with South having only four controls. Um, they can only have three controls between clubs, diamonds, and hearts. Um, so the most likely thing is that over five diamonds, um, North is just going to take a chance and bid six spades. So five hearts here wouldn't be Epsilon because actually, although I put four controls for the... Uh, 
uh, the five diamond response. Um, in in theory, it's naught to four, so we could have another beta. Um, as I said, it's very unlikely that South is going to open two diamonds with a, a hand with only three controls. Not at all likely. It is enough, Walid. Yes. Um, you know, essentially it would be, uh, you know, if, if South had the ace, king of clubs and not the king of diamonds, it pretty much becomes a 50% slam on the location of the uh, um, on the location of the, uh, the the king of diamonds and I've been in worse slams than that we know the spades are solid because uh, south is known to have king queen jack x um, we're, we're entitled to assume that they've got a singleton heart rather than the stiff ace. Uh, actually, if they have the stiff ace and not the ace of clubs, it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. Um, okay, any questions? So there we saw uh, three no trumps being eater in spades, which was the suit that Opener actually bid to deny having a four card heart suit. They skipped over the three heart bid and bid three spades to deny having uh, a four card heart so that hearts was their singleton. Um, and three no trumps is then eater in the suit that Opener actually bid. Okay, if there's no questions, we'll have a look at another one. So this time, North bids three hearts because they do have a four card heart holding. And this is now Gamma in hearts with a four card minimum length. So here, four hearts would be showing a five card heart suit with two top honors. And so oops, sorry. Okay, so five controls. Um, North has got uh, five, so we know that we're only missing one. So North knows that South must have the two minor suit aces. And we know that they've got the king of hearts. Therefore, the missing king has to be 
has to be the King of Diamonds. And we don't care about that because North's got a singleton. Okay, so that was a good, uh, um, good example of um, taking the right inference from the bidding. Uh, we know there's only one control missing. Uh, South has shown six card hearts to two top honours, so they must have the king queen of hearts. And we know there's only one control missing, so they must have the, both of the minus two aces, and that pinpoints their five controls exactly. So we know that the missing honour is the king of diamonds rather than anything else. Okay, so here we had uh, two-way transfer again. Uh, North accepted the transfer, promising four-card holding in the suit, and that was Gamma in hearts with a four-card minimum length. So the five-club bid uh, was necessary to show six-card hearts with two top honours. Five diamonds with relay beta. Six clubs showed five controls. And then it was an easy matter for North to judge six hearts, uh, seven hearts rather. Any questions? Okay, right, so we've covered the two-way transfers, um, we've covered the two diamonds, two hearts, we've covered the two diamonds, two spades. Uh, so the only thing really left is what we do over interference. Now this is quite long and complicated and I can only really give you the broad strokes um, in a lesson such as this. Um, let's just... Uh, and, and the only issue really is when there's interference over a two-way transfer. Okay? Um, okay, so if Responder makes a two-way transfer okay so uh, if ops interfere immediately over the two-way transfer bid um, so for example in the sequence here if uh, um, West came in with three spades over three diamonds. Um, let me just send this. Okay, so what does uh, Opener do now? Over, uh, over the three spade bid. Right, if they have a singleton in the transfer suit, they always pass. Okay, and that specifically shows a singleton in, in the suit that Responder transferred into. Doesn't say anything about their um, holding or 
degree of control or anything or strength um, as regards the suit that ops have bid if they have a singleton in the suit into which responder is transferring they always pass and that tells responder to make an eater ask in their second suit okay so if responder bids the transfer suit at the minimum level and note that the the ranges here are slightly different to uh, what happens over the two diamonds two heart one where si the cheaper range is 16 to 19 and the uh, stronger range is 20 to 23 here if uh, opener bids the transfer suit at the minimum level then they're showing 16 to 21 points and a four card holding in the transfer suit and if they double or redouble depending on what ops have done um, then that's showing 22 to 23 points uh, and a four card holding in the transfer suit so here North's got an 18 count um, so they're just going to bid okay so four hearts is, is and bear in mind if if so it's only eater if south is 14 plus if they're naught to four then it's just to play okay uh, but if it's if south is 14 plus we know that we've got slam values established because we've got 16 plus opposite a 14 count so we must be there or thereabouts so four hearts would be eater in hearts here um, sorry not eater in hearts my apologies it's gamma because it's the four 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 one hand that's doing the asking and uh, south doesn't have to have four card suits um, so it's gamma Oh, I've just realized, by the way, sorry, I've been a long day. In the previous sequence, without the interference, actually the five club bid was wrong because we used the strong beta scale here. Uh, where South is known to be 14 plus, we treat them as 16 plus. So we use the strong, the strong beta scale um, if there's a relay beta over the gamma response. So here, if uh, if South bid six hearts, that would be naught to four controls, six spades with five, and that's actually what it should have been in the last sequence. But uh, I'm half asleep. <laughs> Oops, sorry. So if uh, if South only had naught to four controls, um, and there is an agreement where uh, there's no way South would use the two-way transfer 
if they only had sort of one or two controls. Um, they've got to have at least two, pretty much. Uh, they wouldn't do it with only two controls. Um, they uh, would just use two hearts and then bid more strongly. Um, and that's why that's why we've agreed that the 14 plus hand would be treated as strong for the purposes of beta. Um, so if South here only showed five controls, North might subside, but they'd probably bid six, um, or rather just pass six. Uh, but when South shows five controls, North can work out that the grand is uh, pretty safe and just convert to seven hearts. On the other hand, okay, so any questions there on action over the interference? So here we had a three spade over call over three diamonds. So now four hearts um, is uh, eater showing 16 to 21 points. Sorry, not eater, gamma rather, showing 16 to 21 points. Whereas a double of three spades would be showing 22 to 23 points, but would also be gamma in hearts. And if north passed over three spades, that would be showing a singleton heart and asking south to make an eater ask in their second suit. Any questions? One of these days I'll get my uh, keyboard to type any correctly. Okay, so that was a quick, a quick, uh, a quick look. Now let's look in more detail at what responder does over each of the possible actions by uh, opener. Okay, so if opener passes over the interference, then responder, if they have naught to four also passes because um, there's a possible misfit with opener and with naught to four we've no guarantee that we've even got the balance of the points so we would tend to go quietly we know if 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 responder with naught to four has a two suited hand we know we do have a fit somewhere um, but we're going to almost certainly have to go to the next level of bidding um, just to show it uh, Okay, so with naught to four, responder invariably passes. With 14 plus, they bid their second suit as eater. But now, D1P2 can apply to ask backwards. So double or redouble by responder would be an eater ask in the suit immediately below that of the interference. So if we go back to the previous example, um, just bear with me a second. So here it went. Hmm. 
not very likely, but it'll serve to uh, to show the example. So here, North um, transferred into Hearts, and East has overcalled four clubs. Okay, so South passes to show a singleton heart. Uh, always. Okay, so here, North can double to make an ask in the suit immediately below clubs. And so double would be eater in spades. Excuse me a second. Um, sorry, just bear me a second. Oh, sorry. It's not clubs. So five clubs is the eater response. Okay, so the cheapest possible action here over the double is a pass, and that's relay beta. You can start to see now why we love people who double in the middle of our asking bid sequences. So now the redouble is showing 0 to 4 controls. And now we get the dream, the dream sequence here. Um, sorry. So since South is known to be four 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 one, they're known to have a singleton heart. Uh, that must be the King of Diamonds, which is what North really wanted to know. And now we're quite happy. If, uh, uh, sorry. Okay, so if if uh, South had bid five spades over five diamonds, um, showing only third round control of um, diamonds, unlikely they're either going to show no control or second because that's the only other control they can have. They must have a four card diamond suit. Um, but if they bid five hearts, for example, over five diamonds, then we'd just sign off in five spades, probably. Um, or we can take a chance on on six. 
but when uh, South bids 5 no Trump showing second round control of diamonds, we know that the diamonds are solid. We know they've either got the stiff ace of hearts or the ace of clubs, and either way, we're only going to have one loser here. Okay, so any questions on this sequence where we uh, had some interference over the two-way transfer and South had a singleton in the transfer suit? So South passed over the interference to promise that singleton in the transfer suit. And now uh, North was able to double to ask in spades their second suit because it happened to be the suit below clubs. Um, South bid five clubs as their response, uh, showing uh, two top honours and the jack in spades. That was doubled by West. North was now able to pass as relay beta. South was able to redouble to show exactly four controls. And now North got the space in for the five diamonds epsilon ask. Any questions? Okay, so there's an example of uh, opener passing and then North bidding the second suit as eater. Now, this doesn't apply here, but just a quick note, we've recently changed a lot of things to do with interference in asking bid sequences. Those of you who were here last week uh, will recall. Um, so uh, I've actually just put a note in the forum today suggesting that this is another case where uh, we might want to do something that Brian Meadows suggested in a couple of sequences which we've agreed to already. But this is another one. It's not very likely, but if the interference over the uh, two-way transfer happened to be artificial and didn't promise the suit that ops actually bid, it might be, say, suction, for example, um, then uh, D1 P2 actually becomes D0 P1. And the backwards asking starts with the suit that ops actually bid. As an example there, so if it's supposing it goes two diamonds, three diamonds, and now uh, instead of bidding four clubs, East bid three spades to show either clubs or both red suits. Now North would pass showing uh, um, a singleton heart and now we could use double as eater in spades and five diamonds would be eater in diamonds sorry eat, yes five diamonds would be eater in diamonds because it's not certain that East actually has clubs. No, I think I actually said that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Over if... Uh, so, sorry. If, if East bid three spades, okay... Double would be eater in spades. Pass would be eater in diamonds. Sorry, eater in clubs, rather. And five diamonds would be... Sorry. Five... I was right the first time. Double would be eater in spades. Pass would be 
eater in diamonds and five clubs would be eater in clubs because we don't actually know what East has. They may have clubs, they might have both red suits. So we're potentially going to want to make an eater ask in any of the other suits. And D0 P1 actually serve us best because um, a raise of spades would be the most expensive eater ask we could make. Whereas if we use D0 P1, we've got all everything covered fairly cheaply. So double is asking in spades, pass is asking in diamonds, and five clubs is a cheap gamma, uh, sorry, a cheap eater in the next bid up, the next suit up. Okay, any questions so far? It's not very likely. I, I don't think I've ever seen suction used at that level over a two diamond opening, but uh, it will probably happen three times this week. And uh, it's another instance, and I have put something in the forum to suggest that. We're still discussing it, but I think it's a no-brainer to have that. It doesn't cost us anything, and it's in line with um, exactly what Brian was suggesting, albeit in slightly different circumstances. Any questions on that before we move on? So we're now back to uh, normal interference, not artificial interference. Um, so if we get interference over the two-way transfer, an opener bids the transfer suit, i.e. showing 16 to 21 points and a four-card holding, then if uh, uh, if responder has the naught to forehand, they're normally going to pass. Um, uh, exceptionally with three or four points and you know a, a slightly more extreme distribution um, they might just decide to bid the game but bear in mind the opener may have a poor you know a poorish 16 count um, albeit that they've got four side four card support for our suit um, so normally they would pass right if, however, responder has the 14 plus hand, then they just respond as per gamma above. But if an invitation is theoretically possible, not a bit of game, if an invitation is theoretically possible below game level, there are a few instances where that's possible, then only that bid is skipped we wouldn't skip bids at game level where an invitation is possible because the only thing that uh, responders going to do is they might bid game in a major or invite game in a minor that's basically how it works so if they bid game in a major then that's fine um, uh, but that won't normally happen. In fact, no, sorry. Responder, if, if uh, opener shows 16 to 21 points, and sorry, if opener shows that and responder is 0 to 4, they are allowed to invite below game level but they're not allowed to bid game. And that essentially means um, that they can invite in a minor, but that's all at the four level. Um, in a major, it's not normally going to be possible to invite at the three level. They would have to actually bid game. So it's only an invitational bid below game level that gets skipped in the gamma sequence, the gamma scale. Okay, any questions so far on, on when opener bids the transfer suit? So supposing it goes, again, two diamonds, 
three clubs transfer to diamonds. Um, opener's right-hand opponent comes in with three spades. And opener bids four diamonds, which is now gamma in the transfer suit of diamonds. Now, the gamma scale that we use over four diamonds um, will effectively not skip over anything. Because if uh, opener was naught to four with diamonds, they're just going to pass four diamonds. And there's no invitation possible below game level. Just hang on a minute, I'm being molested. What's up? Hi, guys. I don't think they can hear you. Hi, guys. What's we? Hmm? I'm chilled. I'll put the... I've boosted the heating, maybe. Do you want this? No. Okay. Say hi. Esther says hi. Um, how good we've been. We've been very good. We've had a very busy day. We've cons completely reorganised two sheds and built part of an aviary for our next door neighbour and tidied the house. We had a really busy day. Right. Okay, so that's uh, if opener bids the transfer suit to show 16 to 21 with a fit. Just bear with me. Okay, so if opener doubles or redoubles over the interference, that's showing 22 to 23 with... Uh, Uh, with a fit for the transfer suit. No, just just one. Just one. I don't need a packet. I just feel like a menthol is all. Just one. Just one. Yeah, right, so... <laughs> hey, stolen cigarettes are the, the sweetest. Right. Um, so, with 0 to 4... Responder bids the transfer suit at whatever level seems appropriate. Okay, so supposing it's gone, again, two diamonds, three clubs, two-way transfer. Opener's right-hand opponent comes in with three spades. Responder transferred into diamonds, and opener's got a nice 23 count, and they've got four-card diamonds. So they double three spades to show that. So now... Responder bids four diamonds or five diamonds. Um, and any any bid of the transfer suit by Responder is showing a naught to four hand. The gamma scale over four diamonds is going to miss out, skip over any bid of the transfer suit, any bid of diamonds, because those are reserved for naught to four hands. So, Responder can bid four diamonds or five diamonds. They're not going to do more than that. Um, but uh, if Responder is 14 plus, they do the normal gamma scale, except that we miss out. In other words, we just ignore any bids of diamonds. So, essentially, we're back to... Um, the similar sort of thing as to when we had no interference. Okay, so that's covering... Now we've, we've covered interference immediately over the two-way transfer. In other words, when it's opener's turn to bid after the interference.
Okay, so if there's no intervention over the two-way transfer, but ops come in after our completion of the transfer, in other words, when openers promise to four-card holding in the transfer suit, now a pass by responder is always the naught to forehand, and uh, if responder passes, opener can compete with an upper range hand if they want. Um, but if uh, responder has 14 plus, uh, D1 and R1 are available as the first step gamma response, obviously. Um, and we don't skip over bids of the transfer suit because if responder was naught to four, they would always pass. Okay. Um, so that's if openers promised a four card holding by bidding the transfer suit. Okay, so if opener denies a four card holding in the transfer suit by skipping a suit and then we get some interference. Again, responder will normally pass with any naught to forehand, but they can compete in their second suit. In other words, the suit that opener bid. If they've got decent shape and about a four point, a four count. Okay, so again, uh, with the 14 plus hand, responder bids their second suit as eater and double or redouble is eater in the suit that opener actually bid. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so if we get interference, if, if opener denies having a, a four card holding the transfer suit by bidding the next suit up and then we get some interference now double or redouble by responder is eater in the suit opener actually bid and D1 uh, sorry not D1 sorry and uh, Otherwise, they just bid their second suit. If they um, if they pass, then that's showing naught to four. If they compete in the suit opener actually bid, then that's also showing the naught to four hand, but with a maximum. Very important that you're on the same wavelength as partner with this, because if you bid the suit that opener actually bid thinking that it's going to be eater you're going to be disappointed because actually you're showing a naught to four hand rather than the 14 plus hand so that's that's fairly critical that you get that one right so if ops interfere over openers denial of the transfer suit then double or redouble is uh, eater in the suit that they actually bid. So, for example, supposing it goes two diamonds, three clubs, two-way transfer to diamonds. Uh, askers, sorry, responders, sorry, opener bids uh, three hearts to show a singleton diamond. And now ops come in with three spades okay so openers bid three hearts over three clubs and ops have now bid three spades so a pass would show any naught to forehand but responder could bid four hearts if they had a maximum and say some decent shape maybe a fairly long heart suit they could bid four hearts and that would still be showing naught to four, but wanting to compete. If uh, um, 
Responder had another suit, and it would probably be clubs, obviously, because Ops have shown spades. Um, they would bid th four clubs, but if they doubled or redoubled, that would be Eater in Hearts, which is the suit that Opener actually bid. Any questions? I'll try and give you uh, a plausible example of that. I don't guarantee that. Uh, just bear with me. No, I don't. I don't have any that are really sensible here. Uh, I do apologise. Okay, and just as before, um, if the interference is artificial and not promising the suit that they've actually bid, and note the word not promising. So if they might have it or they might not have it, then that's not promising it. If they definitely don't have it, then that's also not promising it. But if they've definitely got it, then that is promising the suit. So it's not geared to particular defences. It's a matter of whether they definitely do have that suit or whether they might not have it. So if... Uh, I think in practice, actually... I don't think this would ever apply because the double is always going to be um, actually no sorry it would apply it would apply because the presumption is that the the suit that ops have bid is going to be a more expensive eater than the suit open a bit so d naught p1 would apply not the p1 part but the d naught would be so the double or redouble is now the suit that ops bid not the suit that open a bit so if you want to make an eater in the suit that uh, opener actually bid you're going to have to actually bid it and that will be eater because we know we've got slam values when responder is uh, 14 plus. Um, actually, I need to have another think about that because that gives uh, actually gives responder with. Let me just have a quick thing. I'll put that in, but now I'm actually rethinking it. No. Okay, scrap everything I've just said. Sorry. Uh, I, I am having a bad night tonight. I, I uh, did these notes at 7 o'clock this morning. Um, and I was barely awake. I'd only had my first cup of coffee. Right, listen, sorry, scrap that. D1, D0, P1 is just not going to apply. Uh, where openers denied the transfer because um, if we start with uh, double being an eater in the suit that ops bid it means that responder can't compete in the suit that opener bid and we want to allow them to do that with a maximum 0 to 4 and good shape we want them to be able to compete so it's more important to allow that, even if it means a more expensive eater in the suit that ops bid. 
Does anybody follow that? I do apologise for the confusion there. I uh, I wrote that and didn't clock that actually it's a significantly different situation. Anybody not sure what I'm getting at there? You're all very quiet. Have I stunned you into... Uh... Tell him he's just rambling. I'm not rambling. You don't understand. I'm rethinking, I'm, I'm rethinking on the fly what I've written. Because I've just realised um, that actually it, it shouldn't apply. Okay, so scrap that. And uh, the, uh, the artificial interference bit only applies when opener completes the transfer not when they deny the transfer so if there's artificial interference when op when opener completes the transfer then yes uh, d naught p1 applies but when opener denies the transfer by skipping that suit it doesn't apply Okay, I think that's actually nearly it. Okay, so uh, uh, we ha we saw one instance of that. In fact, we should have seen two instances of that. So if uh, responder uses the two-way transfer and ends up um, responding to a gamma ask by opener um, agreeing the transfer suit then a relay beta is using the strong beta scale and of course if responder ends up using relay beta then that's also using the strong beta scale because opener is known to be 16 plus It is possible for, for a responder to have a 14 count with only one control. They can't have one with no controls. They could have one theoretically with only one control. In practice, it's likely to be two. Um, but the, the rule basically is that if they've got less than three controls, they shouldn't use the two-way transfer with a 14 plus. Better to bid two hearts and then bid more strongly afterwards if need be using beta in opener's known singleton suit and then just uh, punting the slam but there's no epsilons there's only beta um, and there's no trump asks either okay so if responder gives a, a one-step response to a relay beta, at least opener can be sure that they've got at least three controls when they're showing naught to four. Um, but it is, as I've said there, it is only a guideline. Um, if, if responder has an extreme distribution, um, you know, they might have only two controls, but it's still a hand where it's inconceivable that you wouldn't use a two-way transfer. I've given an example there. Um, that's going to be worth a two-way transfer of three hearts over two diamonds any day of the week. Or you could bid two no trumps and transfer to clubs. Okay, any questions? Because I think uh, that's basically it for this lesson. It's a bit of a shorter lesson than uh, previously, but it gives us a few, t a few uh, half an hour for some example hands. Uh, anybody got any questions before I stand and let you guys sit for a bit?
Right, it looks like it's going to be Esther, Nuri, Walid, and Sanya or Ellie, please. But please, anybody sit as long as you've understood the lesson and you're happy to actually uh, use these sequences. Well, I've got one taker with Esther. I'm waiting for uh, Wadis and Nuri to sit. Gentlemen, come on, get in there. Come on, somebody sit, otherwise I'm going home. home. All right, otherwise I'm going to bed. Seriously, if nobody sits, if nobody sits, I'm not going to play three hands here. It's no fun for me. Somebody, partner Esther, please. Thank you, Walid. Bear with me a minute. Come on, let's have a western and north, please. Roger. Come on, Nori, get sat down. You ask enough questions in the forum. You should be tip top with this by now. Oh, all right. I'm not going to enjoy this, you know. <laughs> I'll let you off, Wally. At least you've sat. Okay. Hang on a second. Um, ooh, I get to open. How nice. So these won't all be asking bid hands. Just enough to keep you on your toes.
Walid, you are the man. Okay, so South here has to make the decision over three clubs. Um, it's entirely down to them whether they bid three spades or four spades. But North is never going to disturb whatever they bid. Um, not worth using uh, three diamonds beta with only an effective six count here because the queen of diamonds isn't going to be worth anything if north has a singleton diamond um, south effectively has a six count so they bid three spades or four spades depending on how they feel about the hand Walid has obviously had his fair share of red meat in his diet and uh, so he's bid four spades but if he bid three spades that's also fine and uh, on this occasion, he's going to be uh, quids in. Okay, any questions? Okay. Oh, we've had that one. Oh, sorry, too late, Roger. Esther, rather sorry. What, let me. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Or you'll have to go and do a quick job on it now. <laughs> You're obviously struggling a bit here, uh, Esther. You may want to reconsider three hearts. That's why I've popped the uh, full disclosure up. Esther, three hearts is not correct. No. Esther, this is the OCP two diamond opening. Okay. No problem. By the way, if uh, North-South feel like competing, feel free. I knew we'd get there eventually. Well done, Esther.
So I was just hanging a second. That's all right. Sorry, I didn't notice that it was me. It's the other reason I hate. Okay, so again here, okay, so here, um, East bid two spades, showing a single suited hand, naught to four. Two no trump showed any sixteen to. Uh, 21. Uh, if I had 22 to 23, I would have bid three spades over two spades. Oliver's twist. And now East would probably, well, would definitely pass. Um, but over two no trumps, East bids three spades. And I'm quite happy to play. If they've got a six or seven card spade suit, I want to play in their suit rather than one of mine. And in practice, three spades with that lead might even make an over trick. But as you can see, we do have four certain losers. If Ops let us off with only three, then that's fine. But we don't want to be in game here. Any questions? Okay, let's try another one. So while it the uh, no, I tell you now, while it three diamonds is not right. Don't forget all the bids from two no trumps up to and including uh, three hearts are all transfers. So with a touching two suitor, you normally want to transfer into your lowest ranking suit or the cheapest suit. So here, yeah, here South should be transferring into clubs with two no trumps. That's okay. At least you embed three hearts transferring into spades. <laughs> That's the one. 
Um, Okay, so here North has bid four clubs. If North had doubled three spades, that would be showing 22 to 23 points, but would still be gammering clubs. But four clubs is uh, asking, but showing 16 to 21. Uh, Walid has now forgotten the system. Um, well, they don't forget, this is Gamma in, in clubs with a four-card minimum length. So four diamonds is showing no top honour in clubs with any length. Four hearts would be showing one top honour with only four-card hearts. Four spades, two or three top honours, four card hearts. So you want to be bidding four no trumps, which shows five card clubs and one top honour. Thank you, Wallis. So now North knows that South is 14 plus. So don't forget, we're using the strong beta scale here because we treat the 14 plus hands as being 16 plus for the purposes of beta. So South needs to be going two steps here to show five controls. Good man. Um, what are we going to do here? So, redouble would be I know that South's got five, five uh, controls and North has got six, so we're missing one. No problem, Walid. So I know that South has got... We're missing one king somewhere. I don't know where South's second suit was, or is, rather. Um, but I know they've got the two minor suit aces and 
they may have the king of hearts they may have the king of diamonds I certainly want them to have uh, the king of diamonds sorry the king of hearts rather so I think I might just pop in uh... note that pass equals leb does not apply here even though we're at the five level and we've had some interference because it was a double so redouble is epsilon in hearts the suit below spades So there's no space saving measures here because redouble was the ask. So Wally just needs to go four steps. Um, no, I think six hearts, Wally, probably. You need to show second and third round control, which is four steps. So five no trump, six clubs, six diamonds, six hearts. I'm nearly done, maybe. We'll go to bed in just a minute. Okay, we'll just go. I'll come and join you in a minute. I'll only be another five minutes yet. Wally, do you need to, to go four steps over five spades to show second and third round controller hearts? No. It, it does, effectively. But only if you've got second round control of um of hearts that's it okay so if you only had third round control we could play in six clubs and yes you're right when you've got second round control we end up having to play in either six no trumps or seven clubs but i'm happy with that um So here, I can stop in six clubs if you've only got third round control or no control of hearts. But when you've got second round control of hearts, I want to be in seven. As you can see, even if South had King XX in hearts, I can get rid of one heart on the king of spades and now just one diamond rough um, uh, just the roughs is enough to uh, to get us 13 tricks okay any questions So here we had a two-way transfer to clubs, an overcall of three spades, 
four clubs to show 16 to 19 and uh, sorry 16 to 21 rather and four card support for clubs and that was Gamma four no trumps to show five card club to one top honor now five diamonds with relay beta five spades shows five controls over the double of five spades redouble was epsilon in hearts six hearts showed second and third round control and now seven clubs is just to play any questions right guys I think if you don't mind we'll call it a night there um, as it's only three minutes to twelve um, do please have a look at the various discussions particularly in the changes to OCP part of the forum but also have a quick look at a few recent uh, threads in the simple system and problem hands sections of the forum because there are some discussions also ongoing on there which relate to the thing I mentioned earlier about artificial interference and uh, I've added I've added uh, the situation I alluded to today where we get artificial interference immediately over um, the two-way transfer and uh, you just need to read that up to, to make sure you're on the right wavelength okay guys uh, good to see you and next week we'll have a look at all of the intermediate openings uh, we won't spend a huge amount of time on on some of them but there are some that we haven't really covered much at all uh, so we'll look at all the intermediate openings and where asking bids can routinely come into those sequences all right thanks for coming and uh, see you next week Take care. Bye-bye.